Good day, it's Tuesday, the 14th of April, 2020. My name is Mark Pesci. Welcome to the next 100 seconds. All right, so here we are. We've merely flattened the curve here in Australia. There are still some outbreaks. There's still some community transmission. Things look like they're going very well. But everyone is very nervous because how do we maintain this? How do we actually know what's going on? How do we get a look into the progress of the infection here and everywhere around the world? Well, as we've said, the answer is testing. Every public health official everywhere is unanimous in this. Test, 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 test some more, test, and test again. And in fact, the editors of Nature, the most respected scientific publication on Earth, came out with an editorial last week with its subtitle, The World Needs Mass At-Home Serological Testing for Antibodies Elicited by SARS-CoV-2, that's the COVID-19 bug, and Rapid Point-of-Care Testing for the Presence of the Virus's RNA in Selected Populations. We need to be able to test whether people are infected or whether they have survived an infection. We need this everywhere. We need this now. And we need to be asking every public health official and every politician absolutely everywhere why we don't have all the testing we need. Australia's told our testing is among the best. Well, we aren't even in the top 10 in terms of nations that have tested per capita. We can do better. We will need to do better. If we expect to get through this to the other side, we need to test. And that's 100 seconds.